Hello, everybody. This is the Funkaholic. And the Funkaholic, too. And two and a half. <laughs> My little family is here to say hello to all of your little families or big families. And we have a few pops. Um, a few things, you know, I always bring up when there's some something uh, going on in the world. People who need prayer or just need good thoughts. Don't leave me just because I say prayers. You know, I don't push my religion or my beliefs off on anybody. But uh, if you don't know the, um, is what do they call it? The church? Notre and, Dame Cathedral. Yeah, the, the Notre Dame Cathedral. Notre Dame. N Notre Dame. <laughs> this for <room. laughs> Thank you. Uh, cathedral has burned... It looks like they were able to save the two bell towers, which were so iconic. The whole place is iconic, but we still don't know how many um, treasures were lost. There were important papers. There were relics, religious relics, and paintings um, that are priceless. And when I say priceless, I mean... If you, if you try to say, okay, tell me how much money I give, I have to give you if you're the insurance company and they're going to say all of it and then find all the money in the world because they are priceless. Um, anyways, God bless the people of France. They have had a long road to hoe and, um, they don't think this is terrorism. There was, um some work going on and somebody who they interviewed on the news said that he was walking and saw the first puffs of smoke and it quickly turned black and he and he saw flames and that was exactly where they were working so um it's unfortunate and it's sad and um, it is what it is. And I hope and pray that's the reason it happened. I would hate to be the person who burnt, burnt down the, the cathedral of Notre Dame. Did I do it right? Uh, but there, there it is. And the second thing I want to tell you is that today is the 107th anniversary of the sinking of the RMS Titanic. Um, oh, one thing I didn't say, if you don't know what RMS Titanic means, it means Royal Mail Ship. <laughs> A lot of people th think it means something else, but no, that's not true. It means Royal Mail Ship, RMS. And almost all the ships, uh, the big ships, were uh, under that uh, flag of the royal people who apparently... Took care of the mail, <laughs> I don't know. but um, I did just do a video explaining a lot of what happened. I did look up some facts I couldn't remember, and uh, saw a few things I didn't even know. I don't remember how many of those I put in, but uh, it is my story the way I remember it, the way I was told by my uncle so many, many times, but so many, many years ago. And of course, uh, watching online, reading all I could about, about the ship. Anyways, it is going to be just before this video, I believe. I'm going to put that video first and then the, and then this video. So, this is not sad times for us. This is happy time because I have pops and I hope you do too. Um, I had some from UPS and I had one from... It was funny because the mailman was leaving and UPS was coming in and I was like, ugh, because the mailman goes the wrong way so that he can be right. Oh, she can be right you know, her, she sits on the right-hand side instead of the left, and she puts in, um, 
the mail so she doesn't have to get out. But she always stops if she has packages because they won't fit in the mail, uh, the mailbox that is there for packages from us. So they sit on the the porch. But when we're here, Bill goes out and gets gets them. So the one thing that that wonderful mail lady brought was from the new release of the Caddyshack Pops. Uh, there was only one I wanted because I really don't care about people who... I mean, the actors were fine, and um, but I'll let somebody else collect those. The only one I wanted was the gopher who was absolutely hilarious. He did his dance, and he ruined their golf game at every turn. I think he was just wonderful. And I would rather have him than... Who else was in there? Bill Murray? I don't remember. Uh-huh. Dan Aykroyd? I don't remember. But, um, Bill Murray, I know. Yeah, Bill Murray. But anyways... Oh, oh, wasn't it... Um, What's his name, too? Um, the guy who was trying to kill... Bill Murray is the one who was trying to kill him. Was it Bill Murray? I thought it was the guy from Vacation. That... No, he was the star of the movie. Okay. So anyways, um, this is my gopher from Caddyshack, and he will be the only one I want. You can always pick up the other four, and they are... Uh, Nobody I really recognize or care to recognize because the gopher was the whole movie. My opinion. Just my opinion. And then I have three items that came from Hot Topic. Um, no, that's not right. Okay, this item came from Hot Topic and they are using the Box Lunch Playbook. <laughs> I think it's box lunch or FYE. They're putting it into a sorter box and sticking it, sticking it in an envelope. I can't imagine that too many are getting through. My my box had a few dings in it. My pop does not. Um, fingerprints. <laughs> oh, look at. Look at Funkaholic two and a half. Can you see her? Can you see her? <laughs> That's her. She plays until she literally drops. And then she sleeps for a while. Sometimes a long while, sometimes not. Like, I'm talking. She don't give a damn. <laughs> and then she goes off and plays some more. She's quite irritating sometimes, but I love her little butt. <laughs> okay, so then I got three things from Hot Topic. Mm -hmm. They were all from Hot Topic? Except for your candle. Oh, I did get a candle. I don't know if you know who Porcelain is. She is a beauty guru with the hair that she always dyes. No, nope, no, nope, it's not her. <laughs> It's from Jen Loves. Jen Loves is a beauty guru also. She is a former teacher. If you like the beauty channels, she's Jen Loves, L-U-V-S, and it's J-E-N. She um, does every day, she does a one-minute thing about new cosmetics. And then she does a live stream on Sunday, um... She always has the information. She will take a product when it comes out and she gets some PR. Uh, she'll take a product from PR or something she ordered herself. And even though it may take her a week or two, look how long he looks, young, young, not long. Um, but she will use it for two weeks to see how it is actually made. She will look up the ingredients and be able to tell you if it's actually vegan or not. Um, it is from her I learned that something that is made in China is not vegan because they require animal testing on any product that they um, use and send out. So there's that. Anyways, she um, put 
together a um, a way where she's giving back. She was a special. Um, she was a teacher that that what I don't want to say special ed that has negative con con you know negative. And it shouldn't be. These are kids who they were, she was trying to teach to get them to be mainstreamed, I think. I think. But um, if you bought a candle through the code she has, or if you buy anything anytime through the code she has, 10%, um, I think she said, of that money goes to the first school she ever worked at that she has um, in her heart. It's a kindergarten. And those kids are the, the same age as my da my granddaughter who has autism and they've tried to mainstream her and actually they forced her, they forced this beautiful round peg into this mean, awful square hole and she, uh, she, she broke. She, she was mistreated and... If I ever meet anybody like that, that I know did that to my granddaughter, hmm, someone's going to have to raise my bail if they allow me to have bail. Okay, this is enough. Now it's time to... How did I get on that? Oh, it was you. You did it. You're the one who said I had a candle. It's a beautiful candle. I don't like candles, but it's okay. That's what I bought. Okay, the first thing I want to show you is, I believe... This is the last one I need for my three um, sorting hat Harry Potter pets. There's Ron right here. There's Harry, of course, and there is Hermione. And they're all in the sorting hats. I also have all three of the pops, the last one having come out, I believe, this year at one of the cons. I can't remember which one, but I have all three of those. And so I have these three someday when I get everything put together. <laughs> oh, the wishes. Um, I'll, re I'll display them together so that, um, you know, it'll be all together. And I bought two pops. You'll never believe from what? From Fallout. That game Fallout. Um, as you know, I could care about, you know... They have this guy named Strength. I think his name is Strength. Yeah. All he's wearing is this teeny tiny little bathing suit thing. Verify for me that that's all he's wearing. Okay. <laughs> this is it, guys. That's all. Um, I don't need that in my life at all. If I do need it, I'll stick it on him. And then run. <laughs> Anyways, this guy is called Rad Toad. One word, Rad Toad. He just spoke to me in some weird way, in a weird language, but this is Rad Toad. He has three eyes, four arms, I don't know, maybe two arms and two legs. I'm not quite Your butt. I'm sitting on my phone. <laughs> Someone just messaged me. Uh, whoever that is has got a few things coming. Anyways, so this is Rad Toad. I know nothing about this game. I do have, I think, I think I might have a zombie-ish looking person. Oh, I'm, I'm seeing him right now. No, he's from Call of Duty. Okay, so no, no zombies here, but just great creatures, and I ordered three of them. Only two of them came in so far. I think the third one was in another order. <gasps> my favorite beauty guru just posted something. Oh my gosh. Okay, I'm going to close it and relax. Breathe in. Breathe out. Seriously? You have some serious things to worry about. Okay, this, this guy is called the Mole, M-O-L-E, Miner. 
in my N-E-R. Is it raining? It's supposed to be. It's raining. It's just little droplets here and there. Come on, guys. Give us some more. The Mole Miner. <laughs> He's so special. And there's one else, one else I have, one more I have coming who looks like the Mothman. <laughs> they should do, they need to do these cryptids. They need to do, well, they did Bigfoot, but they need to do the um, uh, Mothman and the, um, just all the urban legends and the cryptids. They should do Bloody Mary. They should do... Um, I don't know, just all these things that go bump in the night or look at you through your mirror. <laughs> but this is Mole Miner. <laughs> yes, I've lost it. It's gone, if I even had it. So I hope you watch my Titanic uh, video. Like I said, I may have some things wrong. And I forgot the name. The Olympic. Of course it's the Olympic. The name of the sister ship, one of the sister ships that I could not remember is the Olympic. And the other one is the Britannic. Um, the Britannic, I think, might have been sunk during World War II. And the Olympic also went down. But they were able to get things off the Olympic. And there is actually a bar, and I say this in the video, in Scotland, I believe, that has a wall of the Titan of the Olympic. And they were sister ships and they were almost identical. The way you can tell, I didn't say this either, the way you can tell on a photograph or a postcard if it's the Titanic or the Olympic is the Titanic. They both have the same amount of big, um, <laughs> now I'll never remember what they're called, the big, low, stacks. the stacks, thank you. The Titanic only used three of theirs. They did not need the fourth, so it never has smoke coming out of it from the steam, from the uh, coal. So if you ever see a photo that says this is the uh, Titanic, but it only has three of the smokestacks working, then you know they've screwed up or just out, 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 out flat out lied. So I want to tell everybody, oh, I have another thing going. Uh, you can't do it. Okay. I was supposed to reveal during the, uh, the live stream what was going to be the special secret mystery, mystery gift uh, giveaway. It's a two pack of Star Wars and it is two fighting droids believe that's what they're called fighting droids one of them is red i i have it's one of the packs i'm keeping of star wars because i do like the droids but i found an extra one on sale and i bought it for you guys so you guys can have a chance at these beautiful fighting droids so to enter my drawings first of all you have to be subscribed to this channel that's very simple. Hit the red button below and then hit the bell right next to it so you are notified when I post a new video. Oh, uh, let's see. Also put a comment below and just put anything you want to say and at the end of it, hashtag enter me. That will get you entered to the monthly drawing, which is for what, Bill? Um, two. I can't remember either. Two, either. Ten or two of them. No, there's only one. Maybe there is two. As soon as we figure out, we'll tell you. But there is a very nice uh, prize <laughs> for the monthly. And then there is the two pack of the Star Wars as the mystery. And that's what you do. Red, bell, comment, hashtag, enter me, or just enter, or give away, whatever you want to, s I should have moved it when I had a chance, leave me alone, so, 
that's that's how you enter. Don't forget the 1K as soon. And I'm I'm halfway. I'm 500, baby. Um, as soon as I get to a thousand, I am going to have a very special drawing, and I will be taking one of my subscribers virtually. That's an important word. Virtually to Everett, Washington, and what will we see there? Some type of shop. Yeah, I think it's the flagship shop called the Funko Store. Funko Store. I think that's what it's called. And we're going to take you on a tour. You'll be on your phone or on your computer or on your iPad, whatever you use to reach out. Whatever you do to reach out to people, that's what you'll be on. And we will take you around the store. And if you see something in the store, oh, I love that pop. We will put it in our bag. In our, they give you the little shopping bags. They're not bags. They're wire container things. And then at the end of the at the end of the tour, we will tally up what you bought. If it comes under a hundred dollars, we will take you around to see what else you want to add. If it's over $100, if it's only a little over, we're okay. But if it's like 200 or 150 you're on your own. <laughs> but you get $100 from us. So, um, yeah. And to enter that, you have to put hashtag the number one, the letter K. Hashtag 1K. That means 1,000. K means thousand. I don't know why. <laughs> Do you know why? This is what they made. We're stupid. Okay. We're just dumb. Anyways, thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you watch and um, enjoy in a very relevant way uh, my Titanic video. And this is the Funkaholic. And the Funkaholic 2 and 2.5 saying, Hasta la vista, baby.